uh, another few seconds and then let's get going here. Let's see. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, we're going to have some really fun recipe this morning. I'm going to shout out to Dane to send us. It's called raspberry candy from uh, Ona a Roaster in Australia. So this is 2015, the, the World Brewster Champion. I think his name is Sasha, uh, inspired by his coffee recipe. So this is going to be fantastic. By the way, once you buy like the specialty coffee, like company like Ona, they give you like QR code. Once you scan that one in, let me show you something cool. Uh, you are going to see the, the brewing guide, okay? So they're going to tell you, hold on. I'm going low tech here. They give you the brew guide, how to brew your coffee. So, so I'm going to following uh, their recipe this morning and Let's find out what they taste like. Okay, supposedly like raspberry candy flavor. So let's find out. Uh, by the way, one bad thing about Brewster Pro, I think you guys already know, it doesn't get hot, okay? So there's no way I'm going to warm up my portal filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using my uh, Brewster, the artisan kettle to heat up. But meantime, I'm going to find out how long it's gonna take to go up to boiling temperature. So uh, let me show you. So coming week, so this week I'm gonna be using, I'm going, I'm going to test out the Brewster uh, Gooseneck Kettle. So hopefully by end of this week and hopefully you guys get, uh, you guys see enough to make decision that if this is the right kettle for you. So let's get going. So, I mean, again, I mean, I love the look and feel of it, so. Designer are pretty slick as well. I'm just gonna turn it on. And then this button right here, uh, it's called Fast Brew. I'm just gonna press that. And they go up to bring in temperature, in the uh, boiling temperature. I'm just gonna start my timer. So I put a one liter of water, so at room temperature. So let's find out how long it's gonna take. And the 23C right now, I'm just gonna change it to Fahrenheit. And let's find out how long it's gonna take. I mean, usually it takes about, about a minute or so, a couple of minutes at the most. But meantime, uh, we are, again, we are using the raspberry candy. And uh, here is the brewing guide. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it. So we're gonna use the 20.5 20 gram on my pore filter. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Again, I mean, this is really, really nice okay I wish all the coffee roaster does this so they give you a different blend 30% Ethiopia different blend goodness 10% so we're gonna do 20.5 gram extraction time extraction value we're gonna do about 20, uh, 39 gram there and the extraction time we're gonna shooting for the 26 and 32 seconds so brewing temperature at 93.5 grams. So that is equivalent to 200 Fahrenheit, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna change my brew temperature. Right now I'm at max. So I'm gonna go down to default temperature. There we go. And the water is already boiling right now. So we are just under a minute and 40 seconds to it. Again, it's really quick. So let's make some coffee here. So this morning I'm gonna be using a niche grinder and Brewster Pro as my machine because I wanna be precise. Yeah, water is almost there, so. Okay, so let's get going. So once you open, especially this one here, it's called raspberry candy. I can smell the raspberry smell. I mean, just right there. It smells wonderful. So I'm gonna measure out uh, 90, wait, 20.5 gram. I'm gonna be using 20.5 gram. Point, 
So I'm up to 170 Fahrenheit. It's about two minutes and 50 seconds. I got 20.5. Okay. Uh, comes the grinder setting. I'm just gonna set a number 20 for now, like more like 18. Yeah, let's do 18. Okay, let's do 18. So I'm looking at three minutes and 30 seconds to brew up to boiling temperature for using yeah, Brewster Pro. I'm sorry, the uh, Brewster Artisan Gooseneck Kettle here. About three minutes and 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my cup. And also, heat up my pour filter as well, okay? Because I want to be hot as possible, okay? For this recipe. Okay, I'm just gonna shut it up. I'm just gonna set like that for a second. I know it is a lot of work, but I think with this recipe, you know, I think I'm gonna give it a, give it a fair try here. The cup is ready as well, almost ready. I'm just gonna flush. By the way, I don't have enough plug, so I have to switch around. Okay, so let's go. Let's get going. I got 20.5 grams, good. Okay, we have the right dosing amounts. Cup is hot. Porter filter is, okay, it's good, okay. But again, the fact is you don't have to do this, but with this special recipe, so I wanna give you a fair shot here. Okay, I'm just gonna Man, it smells great, guys. It smells wonderful. Okay. I'm just bringing out all my toys this morning. I got my San Anthony Industry to Distribution Tool and Temper. So I'm, get, I'm shooting for around 40 gram of espresso. Okay, so let's... And the extraction time was about between 26 and like 32 seconds. Okay. Okay, here we go. The fact is I don't wanna waste these beans because all right I'm just gonna do about five second pre-infusion Okay, I got 30, okay, I got 40 gram, 31 seconds, that's good. Shot looks really good there. And it comes to milk, they're asking for 120 gram of uh, milk. So that's why having a right cup size is important. So this is a uh, perfect for small latte. So it's about 160 mil. All right, so let's steam some milk.
So I'm using the lactose-free milk this morning. Alrighty. I mean this, I mean according to the recipe, it's gonna be taste like hard candy, the raspberry hard candy, so. I know some of you out there, it's kind of hard to believe. Coffee tastes like raspberry candy, but let's find out. Let's find out. Okay, so milk is almost ready. Here we go. Make sure wipe it clean. Uh, if you are just joining us, uh, I'm trying out the 2015, the World Brista Champion, the, the copy recipe here. Okay, so let's pour some milk. Here we go. Okay, looks good. So I think I have the right cup size for the right recipe because they are called for 160 milliliter for this coffee. So only thing left is we're gonna try this. I'm actually looking forward to this. Okay, I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. Cheers. Wow. You know what? It's, it's pretty good, guys. This is not bad because I usually like, I like to put some sugar on my milk-based drinks. This one is a sweet enough. You may not eat it, okay? I mean, so this is one, one of those coffee that you guys really enjoy. It's, it's really good. It's not like you know, any other coffee because, I mean, I, obviously, you know, Sasha is the name of a person. The, he won the uh, 2015 uh, World Barista Champion. So he, they developed this coffee recipe. So, I mean, it's really good. Okay, if you haven't tried, okay, make sure if you are new to the coffee uh, as your hobby, make sure try out, you know, specialty coffee shop in your local roasters. Uh, you know, give, uh, give it. A, I mean, give them a try, uh, and it'd be nice to they give you a brewing guide, like uh, Ona did. They give you like step by step what you need to do. But yeah, again, this thing is this coffee is really good. Is the raspberry sour or juicy? I mean, this is a very. It's smooth, sweet. Yeah, just bring out that flavor. It's not like. It's hard to explain, but it's not like, you know, just go to like, you know, local coffee shop. They give you this latte or, you know, cappuccino. And this one, I mean, you could actually make it at home. Just make you like, okay? Just make you like. You know what? So since I like a little bit of sugar, I'm just gonna put some little bit of sugar, okay? Okay. I know if a Sasha, if you are watching this, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna give a little bit of sugar on your coffee recipe here, but not too much, just a little bit. Kind of like hint of sugar. I think, you know, sugar makes everything better. Cheers. Wow, that sugar actually brings out even more raspberry flavor. It's really good. I think I'm gonna hand it out to my wife so she can taste to this masterpiece. Okay. So again, if you guys are living in Australia or New Zealand somewhere the, down under, make sure to check out the Ona 
uh, coffee roaster. Amazing. Did I say amazing? It's really good. Okay, so far this is the best coffee, best specialty coffee I have so far. So, so because if you guys like fruity flavor, man, you guys, you guys are going to love this. And I know if you guys are living in here in US, I don't know. I'm gonna do some research for you guys, maybe similar to something like this, like really good specialty coffee. So, uh, made for milk based drink. And if you try with just straight up uh, espresso or long black or Americano, it's not as good because it's designed for milk based drink. Uh, any questions this morning? No. I think we are good. Okay, it's, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. So rest of the week, I'm planning on using, uh, that's a gooseneck from Brista. It's called Artisan uh, Gooseneck, it's a one liter. So I'm going to show you guys all throughout the week and give you, hopefully I can give you enough information that this is something you guys want to purchase because we got Fellow Stack, it's fantastic. So we got the Brista. I think they are the like top two, okay? A com People buy a gooseneck kettle for functionality, okay? I just want to get a you know, good control, you know, kettle to make good uh, pour over. And same time, the people out there, you know what? I want the functionality as well as the looks, okay? They want to you know, match to you know, their kitchen or their you know, coffee bar, so they want to match that as well, it comes to aesthetic. So I know some people don't care about this, but I know some of you out there that care about the look of your coffee bar. So, uh, I'm gonna, hopefully I can give you enough information and you guys, you, you guys are going to make the right decision. Uh, hold on, we got some. Conrad asks, can you check the temperature of the Brist Express Pro water in the portafilter? My Bambino Plus temp in the portafilter does not go beyond 170 degrees Fahrenheit, even if I warm the Bambino for Okay, so uh, Conrad asked us about the portafilter temperature comes to what? Okay, so Conrad, we have to remember the Come out from the group head is about 200 degree, but once it goes to a uh, port filter, it's gonna be dropped down to uh, like 180, 170. So if I'm gonna run this right now, I'm just gonna show it the con right here. So let me show you. Okay, so right now I set a default temperature on this con right. And then you guys, you're going to see the actual temperature coming out from the port filter. Okay. So it's been warmed up for a while. So I'm looking at, again, hold on. 180, I get about 185, okay? I get about 185 on this one. So, I mean, if you got, if you are getting 175, I mean, you're close. Okay, you're close. And I set at the default temperature on this one. Uh, so it just, you know. I, I wonder you can change your temperature on Bambino Plus. I think you can. I think just like any Bravo machine, you can go plus two and plus four. I think we are good. Okay, I think we are good this morning. By the way, so make sure if you haven't tried a special coffee, make sure give them a shot, okay? I mean, they're fantastic. They're really great. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning and then see you guys tomorrow.